Abby here. And welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lululemon Pack and Go Multi Wear Bag. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So I have the Pack and Go Multi Wear Bag in the color Vapor Black and it currently goes for $118. So the first thing I want to show you guys on the bag is the logos. So the first one is right here on the little belt bag portion of the bag. And this is a sticker logo. On the kind of backpack portion of the bag, we do have this logo right here, which is a written Lululemon logo. In addition to that, on the sides of the bag here, we do have um, a logo on the little kind of clasps here. And if we come behind the belt bag here, there's a metal logo on the backpack portion. So at the belt bag portion here, when you open that up, we can see that there is three card slots and then just an internal space. There are no other pockets in here and there's no pocket on the back as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of clip it off now to show you guys what the rest of the bag has to offer. We do have a pocket right here and it can fit, you know, this much in my hand. We also have these two side pockets that can be used for water bottles. Now opening it up, there's some hardware here that says Lululemon. I believe this is like a plastic material, but it looks quite nice. We also have a hair tie zipper pull, which is fantastic if you ever need a hair tie on the go. Now opening up the pocket, it does say items of importance there, a little cute message. And here is the internal storage space. And coming over to the inside of the bag, guys, we do have this, you know, large storage area here. Now there are no other internal pockets or dividers or anything. It's just this kind of large storage space. And coming over to the back of the bag, we do also have this pocket here. And this pocket spans the entire width of the bag. And this is what the back of the bag does look like. We have this strap that is convertible and it's attached via carabiners on both sides. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. All right guys, so the first way you can wear this bag is as a sling bag. So coming over to the back here, what you're gonna need to do is attach both carabiners to one side of the bag which I have done. You can wear it actually at the front, putting it over your shoulder, or you can go ahead and, you know, throw it over your back like this. And of course, if you wanted to, you can go ahead, move the carabiners to this side of the bag so you can wear it over your other shoulder. So another way you can wear this is as a traditional backpack. So what you're gonna need to do is to unzip the kind of back part here of the strap. And then make sure that each carabiner is on one side. So I'm just gonna push in and then put it on this side. So now we have both of our straps. And this is what it looks like as a backpack. So it does have these little buckles on the inside here. I'm just gonna take them off. There's an additional attachment area here. Basically, this is what you put the little buckle through so it attaches. So I'm just gonna slide that through to take it out. So once you take that off, you can go ahead and clip these back on. I'm gonna put this aside for a moment. So here we have the belt bag portion. And you can go ahead and just wear this as a traditional belt bag, guys. So just, you know, unclasp it and either tighten or loosen it depending on your waist size. I definitely need to loosen it because it is too tight. So it does have this little kind of buckle with the clasp. It's not like the traditional OG ever belt bag. It does have, you know, a different closure strap mechanism. So I'm just gonna slide this over and then pull and then put it on. And when you're done adjusting it, just make sure you slide these little things in place. All right guys, so here it is on me as a belt bag. And one thing to note is that the strap here is thinner than what we get on the traditional everywhere belt bag. And if I wanted to wear it as a crossbody, you can do that as well. And here it is on me as a crossbody. And one thing to note is that it does lie pretty flat against your chest. So that's something that I do like about it. All right guys, so coming back over to this portion of the bag, um, a final way you could wear this is as 
like a tote bag type of thing. So I'll, I would just basically go ahead, zip this shut, take the carabiners. I'm gonna detach them on both sides. And then you're gonna take the strap and you're gonna tuck it into this back pocket right here. So now that the strap is hidden, it's more of kind of like a tote bag type of look. All right guys, now I'm gonna go into the major highlights about this bag. It's great for casual wear, walks, hikes, travel, work, amusement parks, the gym, and more. It's made of a water repellent fabric. It's a convertible bag and can be worn multiple ways. It has large water bottle pockets, a seven liter capacity, and it can hold all of your essentials and much more. And the dimensions of this bag are 7.9 inches by 3.9 inches by 12.6 inches. All right guys, so this is the point in the video where I'd show you everything I was able to fit inside of this bag. But unfortunately, this part of the video got corrupted and I lost the footage. So instead, I'm showing you guys a clip here of everything I was able to fit inside of this bag. All right guys, so now I'm gonna compare the belt bag portion of the Pack & Go Multi-Wear Backpack to the Everywhere belt bag. So, one thing to note right off the bat is that there is a difference in size. So if I hold them kind of on top of each other, you can see that the Everywhere belt bag is a little bit longer and a little bit kind of wider. Coming over to the back, we have a back zippered pocket. We do not have a back zippered pocket here. On the inside as well, there are also differences. So on the Evera belt bag, we have one long mesh pocket and then a divided mesh pocket on the other side. On this belt bag here, we have some card slots as I did show you guys before. So on the Evera belt bag, and this is the OG Evera belt bag guys, not that new one that's just come out. <laughs> this one has the continuous loop strap and then this one does not have a continuous loop. It has these two little buckles that help keep the excess from moving around on you. So I guess this is similar to the new Everwear belt bag. It's just a lot skinnier. Those are the main differences here, guys. Um, pricing wise, this is $38 for Everwear belt bag. This was $118 for that whole combination of the backpack and belt bag. All right, guys, so I have found some cons about this bag. So the first one for me is the fabric. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the fabric here is that type of fabric from Lululemon that has these little squares. I've talked about it before um, in my mini belt bag review, and I just don't like the look of it for one. Uh, another reason I don't like this type of fabric is because it's really thin. It's also hard to clean because if you do get it dirty by accident, if you get food on it or something, I find from experience that food and stuff gets trapped in these little lines in between the squares, so it's hard to clean. And another thing is that when you're wearing it as a backpack, you have to zip this part open and these little kind of inside parts of the zipper, I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> this part of the zipper is uncomfortable because this part is directly on your shoulders, on your skin, and as you move, it kind of rubs. So if you're wearing this with, you know, a t-shirt or a dress or a tank top and your shoulders or arms are exposed and you happen to kind of have this rubbing across it, it gets very uncomfortable when you're wearing it for an extended period of time. I've shown you guys today how to convert this multiple different ways, different ways to wear it, but I had to figure that out all on my own because there are no instructions at all, not on the website, not on the tag, nowhere. And it's super annoying. It was actually pretty time consuming to figure out how to use this bag because they give you a little picture that's like, hey, wear this as a sling bag or wear this this way, but you don't know how to do that. So I had to figure that out. So I definitely would have preferred instructions, not just like some random pictures. <laughs> All right guys, so considering the price, the quality, the color, the comfort, the functionality, and everything like that, I'd go ahead and give it a 7.1 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. All right guys, so if you're looking to get this Lululemon Pack & Go Multi-Wear bag, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.